that that's was right. so yeah, close. Yeah. We really got to go to this analytic footage. Well, 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 people, in the event that you missed our first Hoonigan Digital Swap Meet on our eBay Motors page, you're in luck because we've got a whole new one coming up with a lot of new parts that we're gonna be offering on the low. Here's the deal, July 15th through the 24th, we're gonna be auctioning off all sorts of parts here to help support the builds that we're doing on Hoonigan Project Garage. If you've been following along with my Godzilla Swap Tahoe project, you'll notice I took a lot of stuff off. All that stuff's gonna be for sale. Parts like this, a brand spanking new intake manifold with the throttle body for Godzilla oil pump assembly. Even got an oil pan if you bashed yours in really good. And it's with the sensor. Hell, even this little side cooler will come with it too. So click the link below to head on over to the Hoonigan eBay Motors page and see all the stuff that we've got up for grabs. Oh, the sun is out and the heat is on. We are here for another This Verse That in Cootamundra Airport, Australia. Brought to you by No, no it's Energy Drink. Thank you very much for sending us out here to see the best of the best of the best of the V8 cars that you guys have to offer here at Cootamundra and in Australia. By you guys have to offer, we mean cars we don't get in the United States. That's right. We got some real spicy stuff for you and it's stuff that we have no idea what the hell it even is because they look, frankly, like cars that, that, that they're fake. Copyright infringement cars. That's right. Let's go check them out. Up first, we have a vehicle that, well, we never got in America. Introduce yourself to the people and tell us what the hell this is. I'm Dean G and this is my 1985 VK Calais. It's a Holden, right? Yeah, Holden. So it's GM yeah. product, right? GMH, yeah, Holden division. Four-door sedan. We never really got anything that even looks like this in the States, so I don't know what it I think the doing. closest thing that anyone ever got was some, uh, in Europe. I think they got the Opals. Nice, so you're, you're driving an Opal. <laughs> Sick. Oh, that's cold. I've heard this thing run. It sounds extra spicy. Can we pop the hood and take a look underneath? Yeah, sure. <laughs> This is really clean, first and foremost. But what are we running for a power plant here? And uh, we'll, we'll just start with that. So it's a LSX based engine, solid roller, 427 cubic inches. Got the Higgins Higgins big port heads and his split manifold. Danko from Addicted Performance, it's his combo and he screwed it all together and it loves it. Nice, so you're running a carb here. Is this an ethanol carb? Yep, E85, okay. E85 quick fuel. I think it's an 1100. What sort of compression are you running? I think it's in the 14s. I think it's shit gets wild and crazy. Now I see that there's a, a bunch of uh, uh, nitrous solenoids on the back. So what, what do we what do we got going on there? Nitrous was last minute competing with awesome cars. I thought we're gonna need a little bit more. Got a 150 shot in it at the moment. It can take a lot more, but I'm not not sure what the engine it takes. And me and my engine builder have this little deal that I get what I'm given because I have a tendency to uh, pull them out a bit. <laughs> What kind of power did this make NA? Naturally aspirated on the dyno, we got it to 850. It was climbing, but my error, one of the leads burnt out, so should have a little bit more in it. So that was with the vac pump, everything as you see it. 850, now is that the crank or the wheels? At the crank. 850 at the crank, what kind of torque are you making? Well into the high 600s. Okay, so screams. <laughs> So what do you guys call this though? Like I've heard that there's like a, like a term for a car that's kind of built to this kind of standard. Street car. Okay. Fair enough. Wheel and tire combo you're running on here. What do we got? Wheels are uh, Magnum. They're a 10 and a half with a five inch backspace. We've got tires at the moment. This is our first time on a slick. So we've got the Mickey Thompsons and they're a 28 by 11 and a half. And I noticed that uh, we're running sheet metal screws into the uh, into the tire. Yes. How did, How is that working out for you? Got to screw them in, otherwise they're gonna slip on the bead. We didn't get the bead locks on the on the rims in time, so we thought we'll do something, give it the best crack, and I'm glad we did. So what are you running for a rear end in this thing? Radial setup with four link, two way mensas, and yeah, all of the geometry is done by us. Nice, so did you do like a fab housing in this thing? Yes. Uh, and then what sort of gear ratio are you running today? Today is four threes. Okay. With that R RPM, you need them. 
I like this level of fabrication here. Everything looks really clean. Obviously, you got a bunch of hard lines running. What did you tell me earlier about the hard line thing? We're from Melbourne, so in Victoria, so we got um, some pretty strict road rules. And to, to abide by them, we use all of the hard line. So it's all stainless Bundy hard lines. All the way underneath the car is hard line as well to adhere to the rules because at the end of the day, she gets driven on the street a lot. So in order to be street like registered, this has to go through a pretty stringent process. Isn't that yeah. the deal? Okay, so that's why you have all of like, Shit like that. Yeah, most definitely. One of my favorite parts about this car is the interior. Let's check that out. This is rad. I, my favorite part about this car is the interior. So it looks like you got race buckets that are kind of wrapped in something that looks like it would be very stock plus. Very so what's, what's the deal? What was the, what was the idea behind all this? These are actually a Kirky seat that we've modified to suit the application of being super clean, super neat. We want it following the intrusion bars and uh, nice and clean, but also play, paying homage to the car. I didn't want to take anything away, hence all the, the factory dash, the radio. We kept it, all the factory colors and the material was actually an NOS, sorry, OEM material. Uh, what sort of transmission are you running in this? Turbo 400, so Jason Shotgun Performance built that and he does the converter as well. What sort of stall speed do you typically? She's in the sixes. What? God damn. Okay. You want RPM? Yeah, I guess. I mean, that you gotta is. play the game. Rock and roll. And then, uh, so, yo, your dash, everything looks stock. Is that a stock dash or is it like so modified? VK, VK Calais came with the digital dash, but there has been a little thing, a couple of things that we changed. I didn't want to have like buttons on the roll cage or down here or anything like that. So what we ended up in turn doing, we used the factory buttons up here, which is the factory Calais buttons, which used to be an aerial. We still have the Demistar and all that, but we've got nitrous, trans brake, line locker, Water, water pump, fan override, ignition kill switch, and the demisla. Oh, sick. Badass. It is badass. This thing is pretty ridiculous and uh, kept to an extremely high standard, which I love. Let's go look at something that also is uh, on the same level of ridiculous. Are you guys ready for a partnership that you never saw coming? Hoonigan and Kubota, a tractor company. Truth is, we've been working with Kubota for a couple years on Ken Block's race team. And as we build out the event series, Jim Connor Grid, we needed a technical partner to help us facilitate doing all of that. We've got massive obstacles to move around. So we reached out to Kubota and we said, this is what we're doing. They came in to support. Now we know that we are at Farmers and they're most notably known for the orange color and agricultural equipment, but but they also have a lot of rad stuff, kind of like these RTVs that we've been using to shuttle ourselves around on this versus that. Now, what's better than a partner that doesn't want you to have to walk miles every day when you're on set? Kubota. So whether you own a huge farming operation, a construction company, even a small plot of land, or you want to use Kubotas like this, Kubota helps you get the job done. You check out more of their stuff at the link below in the description or go to KubotaUSA.com. There you go. He slimed me. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have something of a show, a spectacle for you. I'm gonna just slap this. God damn, that's, that hurt. Ah! Who are you and what did you bring, sir? This is my 1970 Ford Capri. Small block Chev, blown injected, methanol car. Mm. Oh wow, this is all done up. We've sheeted all the engine bays, smoothed it all out, and hide as much wiring as we can all under the guards. We've got a header tank under here, fuel lines running out, catch can under here, which lines run through up under. And all the work is done underneath the car? Yeah. How much power does this make? It would make a lot more power, but we've turned it right down being a burnout power cruise car. Probably around 900, I'd say. Now, what makes a burnout car? Because I've seen, a burn, to me, burnout cars look like drag cars that just do burnouts, but is there a big difference between a drag car and a burnout car? We do, we run different setups, as in suspension, set up, exhaust we run right out the back usually or people run them just at the gearbox there. There's just a few different things, you know. We don't want to really get traction, so. Oh shoot man, you've shown us this inside. Let's go around to the side of the car and check out the wheels and tires you got going on here. Yeah, so I got um, the World V Series fronts. They're 15 by three and a halves, and I got the matching rears with the bead locks. Usually, what tire do you run on here when you're doing burnouts? Uh, so we stick to the front runners. A lot of burnout people don't. Um, we do, and on the rears, we just run like a 17 inch rim um, with a low profile tire. That way, when we blow tires, um, we're on the rim. 
it still hasn't bottomed out on gear, on um, exhaust or anything like that. As far as suspension, what do you run? Is it stock or is it coilovers or? Oh, this is pretty basic. I do have coilovers in the front. Mm -hmm. um, the rear is still standard leaf springs. Um, we've mini tubbed it, moved the leaf springs inside the chassis rails. That way we can get a bit of a tire on it with some dish. Tires sit in, so when we blow tires, we don't destroy all the quarters and everything like that, but looks pretty for the street and everything else we do. Well, shoot, you want to show me the inside of this bad boy as well? Now that we're in the inside of this bad boy, take us on a rundown of what's going on. Um, so we just got like a sheet metal dash. We got the Howtech IC7. We got a billet steering wheel. We got the B&M shifter. We got a shut off for fuel, full caged. We got a custom back seat in there. We got custom harnesses that say blown outlaws on them. That's pretty much everything. What transmission are you running? Running a turbo 400. And then ECU or does this does do? Oh uh, yeah, we run like an MSD ignition. We run it with the power grid. So one day if we ever do race, we can take power out and stuff like that. Pretty basic setup. Well, now that you've shown us all your car, you think you're ready to take on that? I think we'll give it a good crack. Well, let's head to the track. My dad used to have a car that looked like this brown one, and my grandma used to have like a Mercury that looked like this. I'm gonna just go with the giant snorkel that comes out this car. I know this is probably a really snap. It's probably really, just, just this one. I'm not even gonna say anything, just, just this silver car. I don't know if I would consider it an underdog because it still has part of the motor hanging out of its hood, but I'm gonna go with the brown grandpa looking one. That's all motor. Oh, burnout car with slicks on up against a well set up, naturally aspirated car that I know has done straight outlaws. I'm going with the Commodore. Here's the deal. This is awesome, but uh, I'm gonna have to go with the GM product, Grandpa Oldsmobile over here. <laughs> YouTube, get back in your car, it's a professional drag racing. You do a track walk? This guy's doing an asphalt analysis, sending a beaker off to go get tested about traction compounds. Give it a taste, have a little leak. I'm not licking that shit. This is the Great American Australian V8 Challenge. NA versus blower car. I like how all of the Australian cars look like something from Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, it looked like like fake cars that they were trying to not get pinched with a copyright infringement on. Exactly. <laughs> You're scaring us. They sound like, you know, when the, the thing blows out in the video, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what my- Distortion. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> but we rubbed it. Like, this Capri is by a rip. note. By Whoa. A, yeah. That goes against my prediction, to be perfectly honest. Oh, which one's a Capri again? <laughs> oh, yeah, what's, what's a Capri? <laughs> the Ford, Ford Capri. Capri. Oh, okay. The brown one. The brown one. No, no, the, so the, the Ford. Capri, the silver one. Yes. <laughs> Wait, are you sure? Come on, man. Australia, hey. get your cars <laughs> right. <laughs> We cannot disturb it from the front. Get the f*** out of here! Cause she's at, cause at an angle. Oh, it is at an angle. Yeah. It, it looks like the Capri by a nose. Let, let's review the hub cam on the Capri. That's easier. We really gotta go to this analytic footage. I hold the secret. Just, just came around and we're right at the end. I think he did, yeah. Yeah, yeah he did. <laughs> <laughs> Australia's friendly. He's dead. Yeah, do you know what? But we're gonna spice it up, I think. Oh yeah. shoot! Oh, I'm gonna. Oh. You got? Oh. Is, is that real Australian money? Real Australian money. Let me see. Y'all should look Australian. like Monopoly that, money. Do not pass go. That, that looks like plastic. Really do you know what that's money. worth in US dollars? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I can buy you a Happy Meal in America right now. It's interesting. Do you guys want to do a heads-up race again? I mean, it was. You get out and you got out in front of them pretty hard. No, these guys are too nice. We're doing another heads up race. Yeah, that was right. so yeah, close. Yeah. Hey, yeah. let's give it that's a shot. That's what doing, man. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> Thank you.
Homeboy was a little, little antsy on the jump there. He jumped. Yeah, did he ever? Crisscross. To be of fair, Pine, I Van did Hylen. tell him to jump. Also, so he did it anyway. But he did it, and he did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna peel some of this off myself. Hey, yeah. hey, hey, they didn't count that. Let's just take some money. Yeah. yeah. No. Integrity, pass it on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah. Fun, <laughs> yeah, yeah. What you doing? What? Whoa! Oh shit! Oh, what's the Commodore? The brown one. Okay, yeah, the, the Commodore. One that you know, the, one the that Australian didn't win car. last time. Yeah, okay, yeah. so it's one all now. What did you do on that one? You pour a little bit extra spice right. on that? I must have been the tire pressure, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's a bit cheeky that Good, time around. He's cheeky. Uh, <laughs> you know, you got him by basically the same amount that he got you by last time. This might be the best matchup we've had <laughs> in Australia. What did you do differently? You hit more, more of the sauce? No, I, yeah, maybe a little. <laughs> <laughs> My man. There's nothing else to do but another heads, heads up race. You guys want to play with distances or anything or just stick to the. This is good. Man. I'm easy, man. Let's do it again. Well, yeah. Awesome. For Let's pink slips, right. perfect. Right. <laughs> Let's do it. Hey, I know. Why don't you drive my car and I'll drive yours? Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> that spins to 10 yet. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Sideways. Dude, look at that. <laughs> Dude, <here's> the... <laughs> what? Huh? Commodore. Commodore. Yeah. That's that, the brown one, right? That midsection sideways loss of traction, I think, is what did him in. That is some Aussie racing. Where'd that? Where's a lot. A kangaroo versus like a tiger or something. <laughs> Uh, the kangaroos aren't. Kangaroo are probably faster. They're fast, man. Are they faster than tigers? They're fast, bro. They got endurance too. They'll out hop you, out run you, out box you, everything. Ah, no, no, hey, hey. God, I love the smell of his car. Sheesh. Your car smells like lotion. He gonna need it after he gave you that fucking. <laughs> this is what I was talking about with Australia, right? Cars built to skid, to drag race, and to be basically show cars, hey. but used. We got some friends in this crap. Man. Oh, oh, what's up? Hey, Gary, get in on this. <laughs> what? <laughs> get the lotion. It's, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice yeah, and boys. cool. You guys need to stop messing around, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's a problem in the States. <laughs> <laughs> boys, we appreciate you coming out. Appreciate Thanks. you ripping. Thanks for having us. This is, this is probably the best Thanks for having us. Thank you, thank you. Thanks yeah. for having us. Yo, that little thing is f***ing pissed! Right, that GTR is fast! Did you see that? Uh -huh.